Washburn Green Team and we are back with weekly reminders about the environment. Also, it's never too late to join. And we have an Instagram at Washburn Green Team and we also just created a website which is in our Instagram bio and it's on the Washburn website. So go give both of those things to look at. Um, our tip for the week is regarding Valentine's Day just because it's around the corner. And so instead of buying a bouquet of flowers, you could buy a potted plant or a potted flower so that the plant can live and you can use the pot for later planting. So keep that in mind if you are celebrating Valentine's Day. So yeah. This is Zara here and one eco-friendly item that you can buy are dryer balls from Seek Bamboo. Take it away, Grace. Hello, Washburn. I'm Grace, and I'm the yearbook editor this year. Uh, even though we've been doing distance learning, we have captured lots of great memories this year. You will want to have this yearbook to hold on to as you remember this year. Hi, I'm Roz. I'm the assistant editor of the yearbook this year, and there is still time to order your 2021 yearbook, and you can order it through the Washburn website. Hi, everyone. I'm Maddie, and I'm the senior section editor of the yearbook. And if you aren't sure if you ordered a yearbook this year, please search your email for a receipt from Jostens or send an email to the yearbook advisor, John McCurry. Please include your name in this email and he will let you know if you ordered one this year. Hey, Chuck. I feel like I have to say to hi to Chuck to get it going. Okay. Hi, Washburn. I'm here with some info about course registration to do's. So the first thing I want you to do is check your email and look for an email from Erica Levins, England. Erica sent um, students and families an email pertaining to some big picture ideas about course registration. And you're going to want to take a look at that email before you shut down your computer for the weekend because there's a lot of stuff in there and we have to get ready for course registration on Thursday and Friday of next week. So let's take a quick look at this calendar so we can see what I'm talking about. So today's the 12th, you get the 13th and the 14th, 14th regular weekend, no school on Monday, parent-teacher conferences on the 16th. So take some time over those four days to take a look at this resource. So here I am on the Washburn website. I'm gonna scroll down right here. Our top thing is course registration for 21-22. Go ahead and click into that and make sure that you're reading some of the stuff on here, not some, like all of it. Um, it'll give you a step-by-step -step process about what course registration is going to look like, but it also is going to give you content about how to select courses and what information there is about each of those courses. Um, there's a WHS general registration website that you might want to click into. Not might, you do. Um, and it'll give you information about courses, about what courses you can take based on what grade you're in, all sorts of stuff. There's course cards, there's grade level offerings, departments, pages, there's a lot of information and content on this website. So I devote some time over these next four days that you have to spend to reviewing this stuff. The other thing that we want to take a look at real quick is that there will be some help sessions available from your counselors and you can take a look at where those are and what how to get to them and what time they are also on this main website course registration for 2021-2022. And you get there again by clicking this top thing on the Washburn um, webpage. That's all going to lead you to Wednesday the 17th, which is a flex day this week. So on Wednesday the 17th, there's going to be a flex day assignment um, that you're going to need to complete in order to prepare for course registration on Thursday and Friday. So let's take a look at that calendar. Wednesday the 17th, flex day assignments that are gonna 
pertain to course registration. And then the 18th and the 19th is going to have course registration during your core academic classes. And this week course registration for the 21-22 school year. So lots of important stuff available on the website, available in your email, in your flex day assignment next Wednesday. So make sure that you're staying connected and doing what you need to do so that you're ready for course registration on the 18th and the 19th. All right, have a good one. Hey Millers, it's time for another spin of the Wheel of Names for this week's Magnificent Miller winner. All of the contestants up here are people who have been nominated by a teacher to be a Magnificent Miller. The winner of this spin gets free Washburn gear. Here we go. And congratulations, Sakaria Mohammed. Started off by saying welcome. These are the students from um, BSU, which is a Black Student Union. It is Black History Month. Um, what's something that's important to you about this month? Something that's important about Black History Month to me is seeing all the Black excellence out there and how we're all striving for better. I love seeing how the people who want to change the world get the recognition they deserve. A lot of new beginnings in different clubs and activities and different organizations thriving to make their places more comfortable and acceptable for Black students, Black adults, um, and Black teachers. Who is somebody that you guys look up to? I think one thing a lot of people don't know about me is that like, I write and I feel like I best express myself through writing and poetry and just written works. I really like, you know, Maya Angelou. I really like Ruby Core. She's a really amazing poet. Big C, man, what's important about being Black? Education is important. You can educate yourself about anything, so. Who is somebody you look up to, Big C? Oh, my OG, my mom. You know, that was my that, that was my superwoman back in the day, still to this day. What is significant about this Black History Month at this time in our lives opposed to any other time? I think we I think we get a lot more respect now due to the time that we're in and the current events that happen, you know, especially all of us living or being from Minneapolis. I think it's really important just to like show black excellence, especially now because of, there's like so much hate in the world right now and so much controversy in the world right now that it's super important to just emphasize how great and how brilliant black culture is. <laughs>